Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are just going to see how a ADC module works inside a microcontroller and what is the method that is using for converting analog signal into digital signals. Let's get started. So, what is a sensor? Sensors are tiny components that is used for converting any physical parameters into electric signals. So, the different types of sensors are temperature, humidity, pressure, smoke, gas, proximity, IR, touchscreen, and metal detector. So, the parameters may vary, but the main purpose of sensor is the same. Let's take the example of temperature. The temperature signal that is available in the environment is converted into equivalent electric signals. In case of humidity, the moisture content available in the air is converted into equivalent electric signals that can be sensed using any microcontroller. And depending on the type of outputs that it is giving, the sensors are classified into two types. One is analog sensor and another one is digital sensor. So let's understand what are these two. First one is digital sensor. A very good example of digital sensor is IR proximity sensor. So it will be having three pins, 5 volt ground and output and we must provide a 5 volt on ground here and it will provide an output through this pin. And when I place any object in the sensing region of this sensor, this output pin will become high. That is it will provide a 5 volt signal through this output pin. And when I remove that object, this will give a 0 volt signal in this output pin. So this is the working of digital sensor. When the sensor is sensed, it will give a high signal or low signal depending on the sensor we are using. And when the object is removed, it will give a low signal in the output pin. So it is having only two values of output. One is high and another one is low. The second type is analog sensor. A very good example of analog sensor is LM35 temperature sensor. Here also we will be having three pins. One is VCC, ground and third pin is out. But the case is different here. As the output pin will give a varying voltage that is supplied to it. That is if you are giving a 5 volt signal to the VCC, it will be giving a output signal that is varying from 0 volt to 5 volt. This varying signal is called analog signal that it will be depending on the the analog output will be depending on the temperature of the environment. So this is the analog to digital conversion process. Let's take the same sensor or thermocouple. Now the temperature is read to the analog sensor fed to the analog sensor and this analog sensor will convert the temperature into respective voltage and it is given to the amplifier. Since this voltage that it is giving is very low, it will be available in millivolt. This amplifier will boost that millivolt to readable voltage by the microcontroller. Then the voltage is fed to the analog to digital converter. So this analog to digital converter will convert the analog signal given to it to digital format. And this digital signal output from the ADC is given to the microcontroller. And this microcontroller will do the further processing. Most probably we will be using the ADC module that is available inside a microcontroller. So these two sections will be mostly inside a single chip and we will not be using any ICs for converting the analog signals into digital signals. Most commonly used resolution for ADC is 10 bit resolution. That is 10 bit means it will be having values of 2 to the power 10 that is 1024. The value will be varying from 0 to 1023. So using this formula you can calculate the step size of ADC that is VCC divided by 2 to the power n minus 1. If you are having a microcontroller that is working on 3.3 volt then you can write 3.3 divided by 1024 minus 1 then the step size will be 3.23 millivolt that is for each step 
this is the voltage variation for ADC. Zeroth step will be having a voltage of 0 volt and the first step will be having a voltage of 3.23 millivolt and the second step will be having a voltage of 6.46 millivolt and it goes on and when it reaches 1023 it will be having an voltage of 3.3 volt. So if you are working on a 5 volt microcontroller then the formula goes like this 5 volt divided by 1024 minus 1 that will give us 4.8 millivolt. So the resolution of this ADC is 4.8 millivolt which is nothing but in the zeroth step we will be having a voltage of 0 volt and in the first step we will be having an voltage of 4.8 millivolt and when the ADC is reading second step it will be having a voltage of 4.8 plus 4.8 9.6 millivolt and it goes on like this. When the ADC reaches 1023 millivolt 1023 steps then the voltage red is 5 volt and ADC uses successive approximation method for converting and finding the analog values. So let's understand how this successive approximation circuit recognizes and approximates the analog signal that it is receiving. So we will not be going in deep with this circuit but we will be just getting to know how this successive approximation circuit is working. So this is the circuit for successive approximation. So here is the analog input and this is the filtering circuit for analog and this is a comparator. This is the non-inverting terminal of the comparator and this is the inverting terminal. Output of this comparator is given to the successive approximation register. So this will output a digital signal of resolution 10 bit. Let's take the same 10 bit ADC but the resolution of ADC may vary depending on the microcontroller. Some microcontrollers will be having a 12 bit or 8 bit ADC. So this will output a 8 bit or 12 bit. But now we are just assuming that we are using a 10 bit ADC. So it will output a 10 bit data to the DAC. So this DAC will further give this convert this 10 bit data into analog and it will feed this to inverting terminal of comparator. So the logic is simple when this is this this terminal receives a higher voltage than this terminal the output of this comparator will be high and when this terminal is having a voltage less than this terminal then the output of comparator will be low. So let's assume this is a 10 bit and let's take the value of analog to be 200 that is the Vn to be 200. Let's see how this successive approximation circuit finalizes this value and approximates this value. So in 10 bit the value 200 is represented as 0011001000. So this 200 is given to the comparator and initially this VREF is 0. So this 200 is greater than VREF and now the successive approximation register output is 0 that is mentioned here 0000000000. 000 000 000 000 000 000 000. That is 10 bit value. So when this 200 is greater than 0 the output of the comparator will be 1. Right. So this 1 is fed to the successive approximation register. So this 1 is further given to the MSB of the output of successive approximation register that is given here. So this value is nothing but 512 in binary. So now the 512 value is given to the digital to analog converter and this analog value 512 is fed to the comparator as this. Now this 512 is greater than 200 so the output of the comparator will be 0. When this is 0, this 0 is fed to the successive approximation register and this 0 is will replace the current 1 position of the successive approximation register and that 1 will be shifted to the right by 1 bit. So the output of the SAR will be 01000000000. So this value is nothing but 256 that is fed to the comparator. So now also you can see 256 is greater than 200. So the output of the comparator will be 0. So again it is 0. So the SAR output will be replacing this 1 with 0 and it will move the 1 to the right by 1 bit. 
so we will get the output of 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 which is nothing but 128 so this 120 is 128 is fed to the comparator non inverting terminal so you can see 200 is greater than 128 so the output of the comparator is 1 now the 1 is given to the SAR now you can see this 1 will replace the current 1 position and the current 1 position will be moving to the right by 1 bit so the output of the successive approximation register will be 0011000000 which is nothing but 192 again 200 is greater than 192 and comparator output will be 1 again since it is 1 successive approximation register output will be replacing this one with this one with one and it will moving this one to the right by one bit so you can see 0011100000 is the output of the successive approximation register which is nothing but 224 so now you can see 224 is greater than 200 so the output of the comparator will be zero so now it since it is zero SAR output will replace this one with zero and it will move this one to the right by one bit so the output will be zero zero one one zero one double zero double zero which is nothing but 208 again 208 is greater than 200 so the output of the comparator will be zero so again since it is zero this with this one is replaced by zero in the SAR output and this one will be moved to the right by one bit so the output will be zero zero one one zero zero 101000 which is nothing but 200 so now the inverting and non inverting terminals of the comparator is equal so it will not output any signal and thus the successive approximation circuits approximates the analog signal that it is receiving so this is the method used by most of the adc modules in a microcontroller i hope you understood how analog signal is converted into digital signal inside a microcontroller using successive approximation. See you in the next lecture.